the belief that livestock equals wealth is deeply rooted in Samburu culture. Their huge herds have overgrazed the region to the point where there is little ground cover left. During drought, the Samburu and neighboring pastoralists compete for water and grazing rights. We, we are losing very, various ecosystems quite rapidly. And areas like Samburu and Kenya in general, we, we have about 80% of Kenya is a dry land. And these dry lands are um, quite fragile, actually, more than people think. And we are losing it largely because of um, overuse of resources. With the increase in human population, the result is escalating conflict between wildlife, <coughs> livestock, and people. It, what is required in that area is a good water management plan that is based on findings of our research that's ongoing at the moment, you know, working closely with communities and uh, trying to reach out to them, trying to make them understand why the system is uh, non-functional as it is now um, and trying to make them understand how we can reverse that. We can find out from the work on rain management in the area on the current capacity of livestock and therefore it's, we can work out the number of livestock that should be uh, sub, that can be supported without uh, degrading the environment substantially in that region. The most important thing that Athwatch can accomplish is uh, to be able to educate the people um, and, and use the science that they're supporting to show that we can reduce the level of degradation and perhaps even change the course of, of um, desertification, because that's what's going on right now.